Alright, Article 28. Everyone is entitled to social and international order in which the right and freedom set forth in this declaration can be fully realized. 28 tells you, you got to realize all this, what's going on in your life. <clears throat> Read it really good, or listen really good. Go look it up. Article 29. 1. Everyone has duties to the community. Uh-oh. What happened if I wanted to be on Social Security and I don't want to work? This tells me, uh-uh. Number one, everyone has the duties to the community and which alone the free and full development of his personality is possible. Let's keep on going. Number two. In the exercise of his rights and freedom, everyone shall be subject only to such limitations as are determined by law solely for the purpose of securing due recondition and respect for the rights and freedom of others and of meeting and just requirements of morally public order and the general welfare in a democrat de society. Number three, those rights and freedom may in no case be exercised contrary to the purpose and principle of the United Nations. So the United Nations has to have okay for you to do whatever. Oh, look here. We're on Article 30, and it's the last one. Okay, here we go. Article 30. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, group, or persons any right to engage in any activity or perform any act armed at the direction of any of the right and freedom set forth wherein. Okay. There you all got it. I might have had to put it on three times. But there it is. I did the very best that I could in my high school education and my GED and everything else. That I mean, I tried. I tried. <clears throat> but I'm not that educated. But I'm pretty sure you people can understand what's going on. Keep free, America. Love you guys. Bye.